Here's how to format your book manuscript in Google Docs without any fuss. Seriously, it's probably simpler than you realize. I'll guide you through each step so your draft looks polished and professional. Whether you're sending it to an editor, beta readers, or getting ready to publish. Let's dive in. First things first, open up a fresh Google Docs document. Head up to File, then choose Page Setup. You'll want to make sure the paper size is set to letter, that's 8.5 by 11 inches, and the orientation is portrait. Set all four margins to one inch, then hit OK. This is usually the default, but it never hurts to double check, right? Next up, pick a standard, easy on the eyes font like Times New Roman at size 12. Now on that very first line, type your first and last name. If you're using a pen name, hang tight. I'll show you where to put that in just a bit. Tap the tab key roughly seven or eight times to scoot over to the right side, then type word count. Not sure of your count? Click tools, then word count. You can even tick the box for display word count while typing. So it stays visible at the bottom of your screen. Super handy. Move down to the next line and type your street address. Go down another line and add your city, state, and zip code. Skip one more line and put in your email address. Make sure it's one you actually use. Now let's build your title page. Press enter about 15 times to get roughly to the middle of the page. Click the center alignment button. Then type your manuscript's title in all caps. Hit enter twice. Then type by followed by your name. If you're writing under a pen name, type your real name here, then add writing as and your pen name. Place your cursor right at the end of your name. Go to insert, then break and choose page break. This kicks you over to a fresh, clean page for the next part. On this new page, let's add a header. Go to insert, page elements and choose header. Type your last name, a forward slash, forward slash symbol, and your manuscript title. Press the tab key eight or nine times to scoot way over to the right, then click insert, then page elements, page numbers, and pick the option to start numbering from one. In the header settings, make sure the box for different first page is checked. This keeps your title page number free. Set your line spacing to double. Click format, then line and paragraph spacing, and select double. Now move down about a third of the way down the page. Type your chapter title. Hit enter twice, then type the actual number of your chapter. Skip down a few more lines, click left alignment, and you're ready to start typing your actual text. For fiction writers, you'll usually want indented paragraphs. To set that up, go to format, then align and indent, and choose indentation options. Under Special Indent, pick First Line and set it to 0.5 inches. Click Apply. Now, every time you start a new paragraph, it'll automatically indent for you. Start typing your chapter. When you finish a chapter, insert another page break to start the next one on a fresh page. Once your whole book is finished, skip a line and type END in all caps, centered. Remember, Google Docs saves your work automatically to the cloud. As long as you see that little check mark icon in the top corner, you're good. Oh, and don't forget to rename your document up at the top so it actually says your book title, not just untitled document. And that's really it. Following these steps gives you a clean, professional manuscript ready for whatever comes next. I genuinely hope this walkthrough helps you out. If you found it useful, liking the video or subscribing to the channel means a lot. Drop a comment too, and I'll make sure to thank you personally. Take care now.